Welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with this really just fun eye. I feel like I'm a disco ball. For me, that is good enough. I feel like mission accomplished. I didn't really have a mission in mind, but the fact that it came out looking like a freaking disco ball, oh my gosh. Like, do you see this eye detail? I just love how it came out. Unfortunately, in this video, we're gonna go by kind of quickly. I won't be mentioning any products in this video. I can't say why, but if you follow me on social media, particularly like Instagram, it will be listed there. So definitely make sure you're following me. I will leave the links to all of my social media down below. I make it so easy for you guys. I'm literally eye candy Candice. On everything so you know it doesn't get much easier than that so without further ado we're just gonna get right into this makeup tutorial and I will see you later so we're gonna start with brows and then we're gonna get right into it so I've already primed my lids I got the concealer down I've set it and I'm just going in with this really bright pink in the corner of my eyelids and I'm just packing that on really quickly and then after I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush to blend and diffuse the edges of this shadow. Now I'm going in with this sort of shimmery purple next to the pink. So a little cheat code when it comes to using like lots of colors like this. It's easier to do colorful eye looks like this if you're using colors that aren't too drastically different from one another because it makes it easier for the colors to kind of marry together and it helps you out too because it saves you time as far as not having to blend out so much and make it work it kind of just flows together so that's a great little cheat move that you can always use just choose colors that aren't too different from one another as you go and it'll just save you time on blending pretty much Now I'm taking a small packing brush and I'm going in with this sort of shimmery blue and granted this color is not as similar as the previous eyeshadow color we just laid down however it's kind of in the same family because it's a shimmer so they have that in common which helps it blend rather than like if we were to go in with like a matte blue we might have to take a little bit more time as far as blending that but the fact that they're both shimmers it helps lessen the the workload a little bit and now at this point i'm going back in with that second eyeshadow color and i'm patting it over the area where the blue and that shimmery purple meet because that's gonna help blend them together as well and make it look more seamless so now i'm taking a small smudge brush and i'm going in with this deep purple and i'm putting that on the outer corners of my eye and i'm pulling it up a little bit because we are going to blend this out as well Yeah. 
At this point, I'm taking a little bit of that pink with my fluffy blending brush and I am sweeping that across the entire top portion of my eye just to help blend all of the shadows together, especially that pink and purple. And then, you know, I am just touching base again with all of those shadows on the lid as far as like reapplying them, taking a moment to blend them a little bit more together by patting them over one another. It takes a lot of work when you are blending, so you just have to make sure you are going back. None of the colors are fading. You wanna make sure it not only blends together very well, but you also wanna make sure the colors remain vibrant too. Now, if you've been watching my channel long enough, you know I never do the diffused eyeshadow look. I definitely like to go on my concealer in a flat brush and clean up those edges. Now, I am using my black eyeliner pen to create my cat eye. So I'm taking my lash glue and I'm just applying like a really thin strip and I'm going in with a little bit of the glitter just to make sure I liked it and I ended up liking it. I thought it looked great. So now I'm going in all over the lid um, and I am going to pack this on and this is really gonna take the eye look to another level. I really do love chunky glitter. I think it just elevates any eye look that you're doing. Yeah, I really, really loved how this glitter paired with this eye look. So the thing with chunky glitter is that it's so chunky that sometimes when you're applying it, it can cover the eyeliner. So I'm just going in with a spoolie to kind of just gently brush those extra chunks away so we can see that liner again. And of course, now that the glitter is all applied and looks how I want it to look, I am going in with that hot pink and some of that purple and I'm gonna apply it right above and kind of into the glitter as well. Um, obviously to help blend everything, but to also intensify those colors so that the eye is not completely overshadowed with the glitter. Whenever I'm wearing falsies, I always just do one coat of mascara. For me, that just helps the lashes blend a little bit better with the falsies. For foundation, I am going in with this matte foundation. I love a good matte foundation because I tend to be more oily, especially in my T-zone. Um, and I'm just using my beauty blender to apply this. You know, I didn't feel like getting up to find my uh, foundation brush to apply it first. So I just kind of lazy and just applied it with the beauty blender, but it worked out. For 
concealer, I'm going in with my light yellow. And I like this one because obviously it's like a color corrector, but it adds like this brightness and um, this undertone that I really like. Now, I do not recommend that you wear this alone. You know, definitely put this down and make sure you are going in with your normal concealer um, on top of it once it is blended out. Or you could do it like vice versa too. Like I've seen people do like their concealer first and then if they need like an added like level of brightness or something um they'll throw a few dots of this in on top so it's totally up to you the beautiful thing is that there are really no rules to makeup you can really do it however you want um but this is how i'm choosing to do mine I am now going in with my normal concealer and when I do my concealer I love pulling it in onto the sides of my nose like kind of as if you're going towards the center of the nose but not quite I love that because that is definitely a makeup trick that is gonna help create the illusion that your nose is slightly slimmer than what it actually is I'm going in with my black eyeliner and I'm tight lining with this and this is just really going to help make the eye more sultry and sexy so this is a definite step that you cannot miss. For my lip, I'm going in with this rosy, deep lavender kind of inspired color. And then in the center, I do have like a lighter lavender color too. You know I never do one lip shade. I always mix and match and all that fun stuff. And now I am applying mascara on my lower lash line just to help balance everything out, especially since we have those falsies on the top. And then of course, to brighten my tear ducts, I'm going in with this little white shimmery kind of shade. Um, I love brightening the tear ducts. I feel like it just opens the eyes and helps kind of complete the look in a sense. It's one of my favorite steps. For some added shine, I'm going in with a little bit of gloss. And that is it, you guys. So I really do hope you all like this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.